hey guys what's up this is manas and today we'll be discussing yet another method in this lecture series based on construction of ellipse all right so this time around we have picked up this method that is arcs of circles method the dimension of the ellipse is going to be same that is 125 mm as major axis and 75 mm as minor axis okay yeah. so let us start by drawing the major and minor axis of this ellipse all right so initially we'll start off by drawing this uh, sort of what you call horizontal line which is uh, known as the major axis so this is the major axis i'll write uh, a and b at the two extreme points this is a and this is b all right and then let us uh, draw the minor axis so the overall length of this minor axis is 75 millimeters so half of the minor axis will be above this line whereas the remaining half will be below this line okay so half will be above that is half of 75 is 37.5 right and then half is going to be below so this is again going to be 37.5 all right now guys uh, let us name these points as uh, c and d the extremes of minor axis c and this over here is d now all right now guys you can see now that uh, this method uh, we need to incorporate a few more important points in the name of focus all right so what we need to do is we need to take c as center and put an arc over here which is going to be half of the major axis so half of major axis is going to be oa or ob okay you need to keep your compass or your rounders over here all right then take c as center put an arc over here and put an arc over here for getting the value for locating precisely f1 and f2 and it should look something like this i'll tell you how you need to take an arc all right with c as center okay and then with half of major axis so that's half of major axis this is going to be an arc all right then again we need to take an arc okay and this is going to be again half of major axis 62.5 then again we need to put an arc so this intersection with this horizontal line is what you call f1 so i'll write over here f1 let me do this again f1 and this over here is precisely what I, i'll call as f2 the next thing guys the next thing to do is to the right of focus we need to place three points 1 2 and 3 all of these points will be equally spaced and 1 cm apart all right so please look at this carefully i'll be putting three arcs One centimeter, so that's a one centimeter arc. All right. Now I'll shorten the length of this arc. I don't want it to be big. Well, you guys can perform this pretty well uh, on your drawing sheets. Now, again, this is the going to be point number two, and this one over here is going to be point three. So we have three points. Point three. All right. now the next thing to do is to find those points which is going to lie on the ellipse all right and for doing so there is a very simple method you need to take an arc starting from a till 1 okay so let us see how much this arc length is then i'll do it accordingly this is somewhere around 22.5 all right so you can you guys just need to keep your compass one leg of your compass or rounder over here whereas the other leg will be over here okay so <coughs> so i'll put an arc that's it again taking f and a center and i'll again put an arc below then again taking f to a center i'll put an arc above then again f to a center i'll put an arc below so i need to put up four arcs and finally it should look something like this okay guys the next thing to do is take an arc of radius 1 b all right then taking f1 a center you need to cut these two arcs 
already put arcs and then as f2 s center we need to cut these two arcs also okay so finally we're gonna have um, four points in four different quarters of the ellipse all right so let us take an arc from one to b from one to b so this arc is somewhere having a length of 102.5 so arc center taking f2 is center 102.5 So that's the arc of what I was talking about. That's the arc, right? Um, that's it. Now, again, we need to take F1 as center. And again, I need to put an arc. <coughs> that's it. So guys, now you can see we have uh, four different points, four quarters of the ellipse. All right. Now, the next thing, we need to repeat this process over and over again for points two and points three. Now, the next arc that I'm going to take is for A2. I'm going to put those arcs taking F1 and F2 as centers. So let us see. A2. So this is working out as 32.5. So I need to take... Uh, F1 is center, then put an arc of 32.5 over here and over here. All right. That's exactly what I was talking about. Then again, with F1 as center, and we need to put an arc of 32.5. This is our arc. Okay, that's our arc. Right? Well, same thing has to be done taking F2 as center. I'm going to just mirror these points. That's it. All right. Now, in order, we have uh, now successfully put up four arcs. In order to find points, we need to cut these four arcs. And for cutting these four arcs, we need to take an arc of radius 2 to B. All right. Radius 2 to B is first. So let us check how much this length is okay this is 92.5 all right you guys need to keep your rounders over here two legs of your rounders over here then take f2 as center cut these arcs then again take f1 as center cut this arc over here and this will cut somewhere here all right let me check this one at once again this is um 92.5 all right First of all, we have this F1 as center, 92.5. This way, this way, very nice. So, that's it. Again, We'll take F2 as center, and now we're going to put, take an arc of radius 92.5 or 2B for that matter. So this is the arc. All right. That's it, guys. Now you <coughs> must have got a brief idea as to how to go about your task. You can repeat the same process for point three. You're going to have a point over here, over here, over here, and finally here. Okay? And finally, you need to join all these points with the help of a smooth curve. You can make use of a uh, what you call a French curve. Or I usually recommend students to exhibit their artistry skills Okay, by joining these points with the help of a smooth curve. Freehand. All right? And finally, it should look something like this. Uh, so this is what you call an ellipse construction with the help of arcs of circles method. So guys, that was all from my side. And if you have any queries or questions, you can definitely go to the comment section below and write your problems. And uh, if you really like the video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. See you again with new problems based on ellipse. Thank you.